How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another quote of the day to have a great day. Today our quote is by John Perkins. The quote is, Our true divinity is in our power to create. So today our topic is on how to be more creative, how we can reclaim our childlike creativity, because we are all born creative. As young children, our minds are not confined to a rigid way of thinking. The line between reality and our dream world is a blurry one. Just observe how young kids are able to switch worlds with such ease. They will be playing, you call their name, they listen to you, and as soon as you're done talking to them, they switch back to their dream world like changing TV channels. So easy for them. And then you can catch the glimmer in their eye. They really are living in a world of infinite possibilities. And if we want to reclaim the creativity that was once ours, we need to learn to put away our social conditionings. Otherwise, whatever we create is truly not our own unique creation. Our social conditionings only allow us to modify and copy ideas that were never really ours. And to be creative in the purest sense is to be an individual, to not allow your creations to be colored by the mass psychology. And if you really observe creative people, you will see that the more creative they are, the more assured they are in their individuality. Creativity is also something that comes to you when you are healthy, relaxed, and calm. The desire to create naturally arises within you when you're feeling good. So let's all learn to feel good and create many beautiful things because the world needs it. Now I want to talk about getting ready to create. So I just want to share a few tips, a few things to keep in mind. The first one is with your being. Before you create something of lasting beauty, make sure your being is in harmony. Achieve harmony in mind, body, and spirit. By being in tune with these three aspects, it makes you more aware, conscious, and open to creativity. The next aspect is feeling. Become aware of your feelings. They let you know how you are interacting with your environment. Your feelings know no boundaries. They transcend logic. You simply need to allow your feelings to express themselves through you, become drunk in your feelings, and be the medium in which the universe creates something new. Next aspect is action. The ideal place to take action is from a calm, relaxed state of being. When you are relaxed and aware of your being and you feel a hunch, you will take the appropriate intuitive action. Actions arising from a calm being are total because they are not hindered by past or future is simply a response to the present and this is the perfect response because it is not contrived and then you also have the energy necessary to take action when you're relaxed you just go on accumulating energy and when you take action make sure it is not an activity that you are just doing let your actions be unrehearsed inspired actions in response to the present an activity always has a certain motivation to it when you are really relaxed there is no urge to be participating in activity. If you make your painting an activity, it will then become a goal that always exists in the future. And it will not have the beauty of a painting that arises from you in the present moment when you become engrossed and integrated with it. And when you are so relaxed that you feel empty, everything comes out. Wei Wu Wei is a Taoist term which translates as action that is non-action. So from the stillness that comes from a totally relaxed state, action will arise from inaction. And being creative, the deepest parts of your being are activated. You feel an amazing feeling of connection to your higher self. When you're being creative, you realize that you are already everything you always wanted to be. All that matters is your creation and the creative process. Your ambitions fade away because they belong to your ego. Now I want to talk about obstacles keeping you from being creative from your creativity so our first one is recognition society has made us believe that something is not creative or beautiful unless it is recognized this is nonsense when you create something do it because you get personal fulfillment from it if you like to dance then dance don't worry if you will be recognized for it if you do become recognized so be it even better but don't let this be the focus on why you create something. Number two is your beliefs. When you are creating something, become immersed in the experience. Put your beliefs aside. Your beliefs make you closed because when you believe something, 
you don't accept new perspectives and ideas, be open to the experience you're having. Anything can become a creative experience if you bring enough awareness and love into it. And number three is intellect. You have to be able to transcend your thinking mind. Your knowledge binds you to seeing the world to what you know. And through meditation, you can rise above your thinking mind to be in a space that has immense clarity. Just learning to watch your thoughts in mind without becoming attached to them. And number four, trying to be perfect. There is no such thing as perfection when you are creating something. Don't judge it. Just become consumed with your experience and it will be perfect for that moment. And number five, being self-conscious. Just remember that what you create is not really your creation, but the universe's. You are simply the medium of how the universe expresses itself. As soon as you become self-conscious, you worry about how others will perceive what you are doing. You are trying to put your stamp on it because of your ego. And when you create through the ego, you are constantly seeking approval from others. You will not create something unique because you are trying to please everyone. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's topic. I hope it gives you some ideas on how you can be more creative in your life. If it did, please help me out and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And don't keep me a secret. Share with anyone who might find my content valuable. If you are new to my channel, check out my Essential Self-Development playlist. There's a lot of good stuff there. And until next time, wherever you are in the world, many blessings to you. Peace.